our recent paper that was published in Medical Acupuncture, really we wanted to look at total knee arthroplasties and see you know, how we could really help manage postoperative pain control with the use of intraoperative acupuncture. Total knees are one of the most common surgeries performed in the United States and one of the more painful ones. So it became a logical surgery for us to take a look at. Here at HSS, the anesthesiologists, in conjunction with our surgical colleagues, are very committed to decreasing the amount of opioids used during surgery, after surgery, and beyond that for recovery. Narcotics definitely have their place in pain control after surgery. However, it's not something that we want to overuse. So the technique that we use here at HSS is called electroauricular acupuncture. What that means is that while they're doing the surgery down by their knee, um, we put uh, needles in the ear eight needles in particular, at points that are designed to help with postoperative pain control, anxiety, nausea, vomiting, things that'll really help with the postoperative and intraoperative um, aspects of, of, of the surgery itself. So for patients, the benefits of the, the intraoperative acupuncture are quite significant. Our protocol in particular is focused on pain control. However, it's not the only thing that is um, helping, helping with patient in their uh, perioperative course. So nausea and vomiting, anxiety. We've actually had some recent success with patients who have what we call nosocomophobia, which is fear of the hospital in a PTSD context, and they've actually been able to get through surgery because we've offered the acupuncture for them. Our study had found that patients who were able to um, receive intraoperative acupuncture actually decreased the amount of total opioids they needed afterwards. So our primary endpoint was uh, what we determined like low dose opioid, which we defined as 15 pills of five milligrams oxycodone um, or fewer throughout from the day they came to surgery all the way out to day 30. When we looked at patients before we started the study, before we started doing the acupuncture, 9% of patients were able to do 15 pills of five milligrams of oxycodone or less. When we instituted the acupuncture for this study, um, we found that 65% of patients were able to stay under that threshold of the five, uh, 15 pills.